energy vibration um, for the full moon for the month of December for the water sign people water sign people that is the Pisces cancer or scorpions okay so for the water sign people what do we have for the water sign people that is coming up in this um, full moon I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back please like share these videos um, thumbs up share 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 because it's very important that each and every person have the message of the full moon for the month of December okay let's see what is coming up for you water sign people I want to say thank you so much for the support this entire year that you guys have been supporting me this entire year thank you so much for the wonderful like shares and support that you have given to me okay let's see exactly what is um, going to be transpiring for you water sign people I've seen the energies for the rest of the elements so um, please um, donations is acceptable um, for this channel because we're ending the year and we're going to be doing new stuff next year and we're working forward to have a new iPad so we can go back and do live and to get the software programs to do the birthday readings because a lot of people are asking me for birthday readings. Another thing that I want to say to you guys is that share, share, share these videos, share these videos, and please connect with us on on demand because on on demand there is so much more information that is going to be coming up. Um, I have done. All the three signs you guys are the last one and there is so much information that is coming up so let's go in and see what is happening please like and share these videos subscribe subscribe subscribes and share 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 okay this is the month of December let's see what is coming up for the um, the water sign people remember if you were born um, 12 o'clock in the night until 6 p.m. you are a sun sign person okay so if you were born 12 o'clock let's say you were born in the day 12 o'clock midnight until um, 6 p.m. in the evening you are a sun sign person if you were born after 6 p.m. until 12 o'clock in the night you're a moon person because you were born when the moon was up and for the rest you were born when the sun was up let's see what's coming up for the water elements uh, um, you have the energy of cancer cancers have been coming up um, cancers have been so coming up then we have uh, the energy of um, is this Virgo um, that is coming up which is it's like a trend yeah the yeah Venus which is coming up which is like a trend the cancers and the Venus is coming up in this period and then we have the energy of the Aquarians who have come up in this period also so for you fire sign people you are going to um, um, have the, the scorpions helping you fire sign people when it comes down to love and the Aquarians okay let's see what is coming up for the moon people you have the energy of uh, the Capricorns because the energy of the Capricorns uh, was here um, also for the rest so you know exactly who you're working with we have the energy of the Pisces coming up this is a new one that the Pisces is coming up so the moon Pisces and we have the energy of the Gemini's the Gemini's came out for the air side and you guys have the energy of the Gemini so let's see what is going to be the focus and the central and the focus of uh, your um, full moon um, you have the energy of the Sagittarian so a lot of you are going to be connecting with the Sagittarians okay what is so beautiful is that the Sagittarians and the Capricorn is coming up to help a lot of people in this full moon. Sagittarians and the Capricorns are coming up to help a lot of people in this full moon. And what is going to connect um, the moon, the sun and the moon, it is the Leos is going to be connecting the sun and the moon people. And the outcomes is going to be the energy of the Aries. Okay. Why the energy of the Aries comes up? This is the first time. Um, the zodiac energy it comes up so um, you water signs are dealing with a lot you water signs are dealing with a lot it's a beautiful layout what is happening a beautiful layout of what is happening so um, we're gonna go right in and take the picture so that you guys can have this picture okay so um, wonderful energies that is transpiring and coming up for you guys 
so okay let's see we are going to be looking at the Sun sign people the Sun sign people are going to be connecting um, you have one planet to deal with you Sun sign people and it's love it's all about love it's all about love in the spirit whatever is happening it is all about love whatever is transpiring it is all about love I'm seeing the energy of the Sun that is coming up with love you Sun sign people are dealing with the energy of love in this a transition period of this full moon it's all about love it's all about you growing and becoming very strong in your relationships okay so we had the energy of the Sun people dealing with the planet of Venus open your eyes to the beauty that is within you your life is a work of heart okay so that is going to be your motto going on in this um, full moon it's um, about opening up your eyes to the beauty within you yourself and your life is an hard work so this is good for you water sign people this energy of this um, the Scorpius are just profoundly um, wonderful because the Scorpions are the ones who are going to be coming in to help you guys out okay and um, this is good because um, what we what you are going to be dealing with is uh, um, the Aquarians and the Scorpions okay so you Sun sign people are going to be dealing with the Aquarians and the Scorpion okay um, whenever the Aquarians and the Scorpion appears um, it has to do with uh, um, the envision an act of beauty that changes the world so you're going to be um, envisioning the act of beauty that is going to be changing the world and this is going to be good there is no other um, there's absolutely no other planetary systems that you guys have to deal with it's all about love for you guys it's about you loving yourself basically because that's what they're trying to say to you learn to love yourself for who you are and see your life as an art form that is going to be coming up for you guys so this is going to be wonderful and beautiful life is always very surprising and we have to just go with the flow with what is transpiring for you guys okay let's take a sip so let's see for the people who were born in the day when the sun um, is up with this after 12 o'clock in the night going up to um, 7 p.m. you have um, the energies of the scorpions are going to be helping you to love yourself they are going to be connecting with the Aquarian so some of you um, could be connecting in a relationship with scorpions or you could be connecting in a relationship with the Aries okay whatever the transition is and whatever is happening it's going to affect you in love it's going to affect you in love okay and this is what is going to basically um hurt you or move you to learn to love yourself but in a very very positive way it's going to help you to understand who you are but in an extremely extremely positive way and this is very good um some of you are going to be connecting um um with the energy of scorpions who have um, the, the, the the energy of the um, the Sagittarians in their chart and they're going to be bringing in luck for you okay as we look at the moon side people you're connecting with the Capricorns which is the last two weeks of December is the energy of the Capricorns and I guess for you sun sign people the first two weeks of December is the energy of the Sagittarians with this energy of the Sagittarians coming in in the first two weeks what you're going to be realizing is that they're going to be bringing you luck in love and this is going to be good the Sagittarians are coming in to bring you luck in love as we look forward and um, going back to the energy of the moon people which is the people who are born of the 7 p.m. up till 12 p.m. in the night you're dealing with the Capricorns and the Pisces okay so some of you Pisces um, could be returning to a relationship with the Capricorns okay some of you Pisces could be returning in a relationship the, um, 
with the Capricorns okay because that is a connection um, so it's all about because you people are psychic people you're you're so attracted and drawn to each other so the Pisces is going to be going back to connect with the Capricorn piece people because you realize that the Capricorn people bring a lot of love and stability but also is very psychic and they understand you more than the rest of their signs okay they're also going to bring you some luck but they're going to bring you love so whoever you are um, and, and, and uh, you have a Pisces in your birth chart you're going to be um, moving to the Capricorns and at the end of December going into January you're going to be reconnecting with um, a Capricorn because you realize that this Capricorn um, is the love of your life and this Capricorns bring you luck but it also they really loves you okay now as we move forward we are seeing the energy of the Gemini so some of you are connecting who are connecting or in relationship with Aquarians Gemini and Libra but especially the, the Aquarians and the Gemini there is a Leo that is focusing in your relationship now this Leo could be someone who is uh, um, who wants to be with you or you're having a relationship with the Leo. It could be something that is happening in work where you're connecting. You are having a relationship with a Gemini or, or um, a Gemini. Or you could be also having a relationship with an Aquarius and Gemini. And you met a Leo person. And you're thinking this person could be on the floor this you could be working with this person on the floor that sort of a situation so it's kind of weird or whatever way you look at it it's very very weird okay because it's as if you're in a relationship with a Leo but um, you have met an Aquarius or some of you have met a Gemini and you're thinking about this but the Leo um, has luck the Leo is going to bring you luck so be aware of this the Aries and the Leos and the Sagittarians are here okay and it's as if the Aries Leo and Sagittarians is especially the Aries are going to be connecting both with the Sun sign and the moon sign people okay um, the Sagittarius are going to be connecting the Scorpions and the Capricorns together okay and the Leos and um, not only are the Leo's going to be dealing with the air signs but um, or that you're in a relationship with a Leo and then you meet an air sign you meet an Aquarius or a Gemini but somehow there is some love triangle that is happening some of you Scorpius are in a love triangle with an Aquarian person okay um, some of you are in um, a relationship um, that some of you Pisces who are in a relationship with a Gemini is going to leave the Gemini for the Capricorn okay because you find out that the Capricorn is more compatible with you so you're going to be releasing yourself from this Gemini to go with the Capricorn because the Capricorn is psychic and the Capricorn connects much better with you so there's a lot of changes that is coming in a lot of you are going to be affecting with the Aries people are going to be affecting you the Sagittarius people are going to be affecting you and the Leos are going to be affecting you some of you are in relationship with these fireside people and you are going to decide to leave them for the Scorpion and the, the, the Capricorn or um, because um, you know you guys um, this is so crazy um, because you guys are going to be looking for the one okay this this at this end of the year you're gonna be looking for um, the one okay so um, you Pisces is really um, out there looking for the one that more that is more compatible with who you are okay so the scorpions have the energy of Pluto so um, the, 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 the scorpion is going to be releasing some aspect of themselves um, the cancers you guys are going to be because it's the energy of the moon and this is a moon reading so it's as if you cancers are 
you know connecting and looking over what is happening here ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you um, please share these videos um, it's going to be a perform um, month um, full moon reading of December it's going to be some performed energies that is coming in I want to say namaste until next time if you would like to see the extended of this reading please use the link below and it will take you to the on demand it's just 2 dollars it's a cup of coffee there is going to be powerful information that is going to be coming out to help you guys namaste until next time Merry Christmas and Happy New Year okay welcome to on demand thank you for being here thank you for supporting um, this channel and let's see what is going to be coming up so we're going to be first looking at